Hey there, it's Dr. K. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn the rules of simplifying radicals with indices greater than 2. So what exactly does that mean? So let's remember that a radical means it's a number within a square root sign. This is a radical. An indice is the number above here. Usually if you just see the radical by itself, the number is 2. Now sometimes you can have the cube root radical. You have a 3 there. You can have a 4 or a 5 or greater. And let's put a number within it. So we're going to do 125. So what does exp this expression mean? Now, I'm, now the same as a square root radical, a cube root radical just means that we have to simplify the inside of the radicand. The radicand is this number inside. It's the 125. So the 125 is actually saying 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 cubed. Because we're taking the third power of the radical, we're going to simplify it to take all the fives out of the expression, and it's going to simplify to simply 5. Now, let's do another example with an even greater indice. So once again, the indice is the number that's the power of the radical. So we'll have a radical with an indice of 5. That's pretty difficult. And the number inside is 32. So how do you solve this? Well, first of all, you have to take this expression and find what it is equal to. This is equal to 2 to the fifth power. It's 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. And because this is the fifth root of 32, we're going to take the 2 outside and find the answer, which is simply 2. So there you go. That's how, how you solve a number with an indice in the radical that's greater than 2. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.